Good afternoon, guys. My name is Alina Shamsova. I'm a nutrition trainer for the community. And in today's video, I would like to share with you great news. USCIS changes some of its policies, and these are pretty significant changes. Mainly, what's happening is that they're reverting back to pre-Trump um, change of policies, where Trump administration changed uh, how USCIS processing cases so much that it affected almost every every applicant and now the biden administration is slowly but surely um, adopts um, all the policies that existed before the trump administration and i believe those policies will help many applicants we're going to talk about the how to expedite your case and when it's possible we're going to talk about requests for evidence and uh, notices of intent to deny and of course the main news news is that USCIS is going to now issue longer um, or it's better to say the work permits that have longer validity dates to certain applicants if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so and hit that notification bell button so you will stay updated with regard to the most recent immigration news. So let's start. Well, first of all, um, USA has just published a new policy clarifying how one, an applicant or petitioner may request an expedition of their case and specifically what criteria is going to be used to grant such a request. It's a very important update. So first of all, let's talk about that request to expedite. A company or a person may submit a request to expedite the application or petition if they can demonstrate that denial of such request will cause uh, severe financial loss to a company or to a person. And at the same time, they have to show that the delay was not caused by the company or a person because they failed to submit the application or petition in time and um, that they uh, did not um, untimely respond to the RFE request for more evidence. Also, USS provides some examples when, for example, such a request will be possible. Uh, one of the examples they state, uh, let's say the company will lose a critical contact, will have to lay off employees. Let's say a company is a medical office and they are employing a doctor. If the doctor loses his employment authorization or her employment authorization, then the company will have to lay off staff that supports that doctor, for example. Another reason um, as to when the request to expedite can be uh, submitted or considered is a case of emergencies and um, humanitarian reasons. Also, USCIS reverted back to its policy that a non-for-profit organization may submit such a request even if a premium processing is available for the same petition. And finally, the request to expedite can be submitted when there is a US um, interest involved and clear USCIS error. So these are uh, the main criteria. So the request will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, you have to submit doc documents and support. Where you send your request depends on where your case is. For example, you can submit your request to USCIS, that um, office that has your uh, case. You can submit it to the asylum office that has jurisdiction over your asylum claim. At times when you are appealing the case, you will submit it together with an appeal. But regardless of where you are sending that request, you have to also submit documents proving that there is an emergency. Just remember that. Is that USCIS also reverts back to its policies regarding requests for more evidence and notices of intent to deny. During the Trump administration, USCIS adopted a new policy saying that if, for example, something is missing or they're not sure if you qualify for a relief that you filed for, they may just deny your case without sending you a request for more evidence. So now that policy has been rescinded. Good news. You should receive a chance to explain yourself or present more evidence before USCIS is going to deny your case. That's what it means. 
And finally, the best news ever, people who are filing for adjustment of status are going to have work permits issued for them for two years instead of one year, effective immediately. This new policy will apply for renewal and for new um, applications, but if you filed for replacement of your old work permit, um, one year work permit, it will not cover that. Well, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Again, like, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you soon.